Hello, this is Dr. Hanumay Gowda, a consultant orthopedic surgeon practicing at AHA Orthocare, Nagarbhavi. Managing a spinal tumor is a huge topic by per se. I'll try to simplify it as much as possible. There are two types of tumors in our body. One is a benign tumor and a malignant tumor. The spinal cord gets affected by many of these benign tumors and the commonest one is an osteochondroma or an osteoma. What happens is this tumor grows and starts compressing on the nervous tissues leading to some, sort of some type of irritations in the limbs or wherever the nerve goes. Sometimes paralysis, local paralysis, sometimes a generalized paralysis of both the lower limbs. If it's higher up in the neck, then you may get a paralysis of all the four limbs. So treatment will be, if, because it's uh, benign, we can completely excise it, remove it off completely and we can reconstruct the spine and the results, if at all there is no major neurological damage, results are good. Then the malignant tumors are very common in spine. Sometimes they come from other areas, that is as a metastasis or from distant places. Somewhere there is, there is a cancer which can spread into the spine. So treatment of malignant tumors in spine by and large includes chemotherapy because it's very difficult to treat a malignant tumor in the spine. There are occasions when the tumor goes into such huge sizes that it may have to be operated also called debulking and reconstructed with bone from elsewhere and then chemotherapy and radiation therapy will be required. Though it is a very small and vague idea that I am giving you, the spinal tumor treatment is a huge topic in itself to discuss on a small forum like this.